In this video, we're going to talk about the best way to manage time for the ACT science test, which contains seven passages of three kinds that show up in random order. Because these passages show up in random order, it can be difficult to have a clear strategy for managing time. But we've come up with a way to effectively manage time for the ACT science test, and we think it's a pretty good one, so we would highly recommend that you use it. So here's our method in three steps. First, we always want to skip the conflicting viewpoints passage to do last, wherever it shows up, whether it's first or somewhere in the middle. Second, we want to do the first six non-conflicting viewpoints passages in about 27 minutes or less, which means about nine minutes for every two passages. Generally speaking, we want to spend about four minutes on each of the data representation passages, which contain five questions each, and about five minutes on each of the research summary passages, which contain six questions each. But instead of trying to keep track of the time for each passage individually, just try to finish the first two passages within 9 minutes, the second two passages within 18 minutes, and the third two passages within 27 minutes, plus or minus, you know, a minute or so. This is a lot easier to do than to think, oh, this is a data representation passage, so I have 4 minutes. I'm at 9 minutes right now, so that means I need to finish by 13 minutes. That's too confusing, so don't do that. And the third step is to use the remaining time, which will be about 8 minutes for the conflicting viewpoints passage, which is the hardest and will take the longest to do. If you finish the test with time to spare, then you can go back and check over questions you might not have been sure about. So, now you have a simple and effective strategy for managing time on the ACT science test. And obviously, you need to make sure you bring a digital watch to manage time most effectively. So, bring one. No excuses. In the next video, we're going to talk about the best strategies for navigating the six non-conflicting viewpoints passages, which are all pretty similar to one another. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then.